Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and today I'm gonna share some of my current favorites. I know it's been a while since I have shared any monthly favorites. I was doing that pretty regularly before, but I haven't been around, I feel like months. Um, and I definitely haven't shared a favorites video in quite some time. So I just wanted to share my current favorites that I have right now. I know it's like the middle of the month, but I thought I'd share anyway, a couple of new things, a couple of, a couple of things that I've shared in the past, but maybe it's just like reminding you that I still love them. And if you haven't used them or tried them, then you should probably give it a go. Grab a snack. Where's my coffee? I don't know where my coffee is. Grab a snack, grab your coffee, and let's hang out. So the first thing I wanna share, you saw it already in a my unboxing, but this is my Archer and Olive notebook, bullet journal, dot grid, book, journal, notebook. I actually, of course, joined the buy, sell, trade group, and I ended up grabbing this too, which is a beautiful book. Look at it. It's like shimmery, drippy, just mm, beautiful. Has the moon, stars, also white paper, dot grid. I think this is more paper. This has like 192 sheets paper. This has 160 sheets, both 160 GSM paper. It's like the paperweight. I love it so much. This is like the little da the little ribbon dangly is gold. This one's silver to match. So I wanted to share this for anyone that is interested in bullet journaling. If you have ever bullet journaled in your life, if you've ever used like a dot grid type of notebook, Archer and Olive has some amazing books. More recently, they have been more out of stock than not because of what's happening in the world. And if you can hear anyone speaking, that's my daughter. She's off camera over there playing on her iPad. I wanted to share, I did get it a couple of, I guess at this point, a couple of weeks ago, several weeks ago. And so I did get a chance to set it up. I don't really know how to like letter or write really pretty, like how you see in, on Pinterest or Instagram or like TikTok. So I'm learning and this is for me. So I don't expect anyone to be like, oh my gosh, your handwriting, it's beautiful. No, it's not, it's not, but I'm working on it. Anyway, I have a picture of pizza here, heart-shaped pizza, cause it's my favorite. Not heart-shaped pizza, but just like pizza in general. I wrote my little Hello 2020. Two. And so I have like set it up. This is like the uh, grid spacing or dot spacing, whatever it's called. I have my future log, vision board. I've, I've started using it. This is my February cover. It's so pretty. I'll just, I think I got this in the middle of February. This is my January, and uh, not January. <laughs> this is my March. I've had just, like, I've been able to be creative and really play. I did like a little mood tracker. I'm just like doing a flip through, I guess at this point. I also filled out like a um, March goals. So I have quite a few goals set for myself for this month and some like YouTube video ideas. So it's like a little bit of everything. I really wanted to get a bullet journal, both to have a place to write and have like a functioning, like a real planner. Um, and I don't have a ton of going on, a ton of stuff going on right now, but I do like to make sure I'm writing stuff down, like a to-do list or a couple of things that I need to just keep track of. Like I mentioned, I have, I don't necessarily would do this for work. It's really personal for work. I have everything scheduled on a calendar on Google. And so I don't really have to put anything else in there. It's really just for personal or to let me be creative and to have like a functioning planner. So with this, I have really started using a lot of the Micron pens. I know these are super popular in the paper planning world. This is my favorite. This is the O1. one It's just like the regular, you know, if you know, you know, but I feel like this is the perfect size for me and for planning they go anywhere you know from really re really tiny to even smaller than that to like much thicker but i really like that one so micron 01 is my favorite right now i also have really loved and i'll i'll get you a closer look in a second but I have really loved uh, using uh, Tombow pens and mild liners for all of my planning. I actually haven't um, used a ton of stickers, which is what I wanted to do. I really wanted to give me that space to like be able to draw stuff and write stuff and not depend on stickers to decorate um, and really be like content with something that I created and not just putting a bunch of stickers on the page, which I used to do and which looks really pretty, but it just sometimes overwhelmed me and would stop me from actually 
planning because I didn't want to have to do all of like the layering of stickers. That's the style that I'm leaning towards, at least for right now. And I love it. And I grabbed that other planner. I think I was going to do like a journal, like a, like a daily journal, uh, but I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. I might just turn it into like a reading log. I haven't decided yet. And that's actually a perfect segue to my Kindle. I have been reading much more on my Kindle. Recently fi finished Stolen Tongues and it was really scary. Sorry, Stolen Tongues is by Felix Blackwell. I finished that, I read it on my Kindle. I really, really liked it. And I like to read right before bed, like literally right before I shut my eyes to go to sleep. I'm reading until I can't keep my eyes open any longer. The way it was written, I don't know why. I had to stop several times. I'm currently reading um, Wicked Souls, which is the second book in the Marionettes series. And that one is by Katie Wismer. I am loving it. I'm loving it. I think there's only like five chapters left. Left. I think I'm like 80% done with it. So I'm really excited. I'm really excited to finish reading it. And I'm not sure if I'm going to jump into another Marionettes book or if I'm going to go into other books because I have a huge list. I feel like <laughs> I feel like my toxic trait is I just add books and add and add books to my list of like want to read. So I have several several books waiting. I feel like I'm back in a habit of reading daily and it just makes me feel good. So anyway, moving on from that, if you did see my nails, you probably can't tell too much. Um, I have been doing my nails since, since 2020. I'm just gonna say that, since 2020. Um, I used to get my nails done kind of like every so often on a special occasion and I hated going back and getting fills and I hated just the time and the scheduling and all of that stuff. When 2020 happened, I decided I was gonna focus on something that made me feel put together, made me feel like, I don't know, pretty and like polished, whatever. And I decided to do my nails. So I've done all kinds of things. If you've seen other videos, I've just done all kinds of things to do my nails and what I have settled on that I love, 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 love is the full coverage nail tips. Specifically and more recently, I bought the Gel X kit. I have, I also have tried Kira Sky, I've tried Beatles, I've tried some other Amazon brands, but I did try the, or more, most recently, I used the Gel X, which is by Aprey. And it comes, it comes in this just gorgeous, look at this, little uh, case. So it comes with all of these liquids in the set, including a file. This is a 100-180 grip file. It does come with this little uh, lamp, which I like. I do like that you like push it down and that's what turns it on. So you can see the blue. And then when you wanna turn it off, you can just push down. But I don't love this style of lamp. So I will continue to use the one that I got from Amazon, which is like Beatles brand or the Kira Sky. I just think it works better. Like if you're one-handed, this type, it's just harder to be able to like hold your nail and hold and and hold this too. Like you have to, you have to have like a third hand to do it. So I don't like that. I'd rather just use the Kira Sky, which looks like this. And you just tap the button on the back here to turn it on and then you don't have to hold it down. You can just put your put your finger in and if you're holding your, I normally hold my, like the nail, like I'm holding the, <laughs> I'm holding the nail on my other hand. So it's just hard to do both if you have that other style. I'm gonna stick with the Kira Sky, but I really, oh, I just love like the look. So far, I'm really liking the way the the Apre liquids are holding. Like, and I think Kira Sky also works really well, but I just notice a little bit of a difference, at least so far, with the Prey application. I've had these on for a week and a half, and I'm actually really surprised because I think that's the longest I, well, like almost two weeks, is how long I had the other ones for when they would start lifting. So nothing has been lifting yet. And on some nails, you can see that my nails are growing, but I also love this color. I'm gonna share that in a second. But I really love this this kit. I should have just gotten this one when I initially started, but I started with Kira Sky. No, I started with Beetles from Amazon and then Kira Sky, and I just love this one so much. I love the look of it. I love the way my nails are holding on so far. I have a ton of different uh, full coverage tips. Like I prefer, this is very like, this is like halfway cut down compared to the other ones, but I really like an almond, like not really round, but not stiletto. Like I really like, like an almond uh, shape where it's a little bit pointy. I don't like them too, too long. Cause I do, you know, 
need to I need to type and stuff for work so and this nail color is actually a mix of a couple of nail polishes gel nail polishes so this is the kit so this is the ultimate monochrome from Beatles I'll post links if I can find everything as long as everything is available still and it comes with six colors here they're kind of they're kind of tiny see how tiny they are 7.5 ml so they're tiny but i do like buying these small sets because they're so small and i like having a couple of different options of nail polishes i don't think the bigger sizes are necessary i just feel like these small ones are perfect i really like the beetles base coat and top gel so i got these are like the smaller size, I think. I mean, I love these so much. I I got these in a set somewhere in a, like a different set. And I ended up buying a bigger... I wanted like a much bigger set of the base gel and the glossy top coat because these are... The Beatles brand is my favorite. And I feel like it... The color... My color always looks so good on my nail, nail polish. Um, gel nail polish with these specific. I just love them so much. I think that is it. I just wanted to share a couple of things that I am currently loving. Hopefully it's not too redundant. Like you've already heard me talk about it or you're like overhearing me say how much i love it because i really love it but i wanted to share hopefully this helps you if it does or if you need to know where i got these i will post as many links as i can i'm not sure if i'll be able to find everything but if i can then i will post it and you should be able to find it below i hope you like this video thanks for watching follow me on instagram i post reels there a lot of coffee content um i also have a bullet journal account so that it's like separate and i don't post too much on there but anytime i create a new weekly spread or monthly spread or whatever i'm doing i will post it there you can check that out too link will probably be below somewhere thanks for watching and i'll see you next time bye